guard dog look on Clayton. So Clayton, close your eyes gently. We're starting with white and a sponge. And we load the sponge up. And then we have him close his eyes, just barely. And we're going to cover the eye socket with white. Do that on both sides. Turn your head just a little bit. There you go. And we're going to do the muzzle for the dog. And we're going to extend a little bit farther on this side than we do on the other side. And you'll see why when we get to that point. And if, if it's not very even, you can lightly tap the sponge over the area so it'll even out the density of the color. Then we're going to take our second color, which we're going to use. It's a brown. And I like to spray water on the paint and then use the sponge to pull the, the wet paint that's just been watered onto the sponge. Now we're going to base coat the rest of the face with this brown. And this gives us We're going to take a straight line on a V angle toward the nose so that the, it looks like the guard dog is growling. They've got to have a little bit of a uh, intense growl look. Now we can also come through with a flat brush like this and lightly pull toward the white and it will smooth out some of the brown and give it a kind of a furry look because the edges will be kind of furry. So it doesn't look like it's a solid line. And where you want the solid line is right across the top. So you can come back and intensify it with the brush. Then we'll go to a pointed brush and start working our detail with black. You take the black paint, load it onto the brush, twirl the brush a little bit as you load it, and then you can 
start with the outlining the eyes. And we're going to come from almost the middle of the forehead and put a little shape like that, which gives it that look as though the dog is intense. I'm going to do that on each side so that it makes it have an automatic growl look. And we're going to split the lip this way. And here's where we form a loop like this. And we're going to bring teeth into play here. Do that by doing these triangular shapes. And that gives the the, the growling teeth look. Put the little dots on the muzzle to bring out the muzzle on the dog. Then we're going to do the nose. And what you do is frame the nostril and come across the top of the nose, matching the nostril to nostril frame. and then fill in the rest of the nose. And then you can take black accent marks around the muzzle give it a more, even more furry look. And we just take and make lines. Now, on the eyes, we're going to extend just a little bit past the eye, come up and in on each side, which will give an accentuation to that growl. So we have the dog that's going to growl. Now we're going to put a couple of lines right across this nose, the bridge of the nose, and those little lines make it look like he's scrunched up growling at you. And there's a growling dog.